hello guys welcome to the lecture uh, so right now we have created the other list and we have placed our icons here and this will be the menu and we are going to design like this so let's get started so first of all we need to add some of the padding to the top to the bottom to this uh, c post top section so what we are going to do here we are going to go to this uh, c post top here and we are going to add a padding and uh, we will say padding top and bottom 10 pixels and 0 pixel left and right so let's save the file and let's refresh the page and now as you can see it's given the padding so now it's time to design this menu so let's open up the index.html file and here you can see this is the c post bottom and inside the c post bottom we have another list and list item and anchor tag inside the anchor tag we have a spawn element and inside the spawn element we have the text and we have the icon so what we are going to do here we are going to add uh, this inside the css so here you can see we have uh, added the c post bottom class and inside here we are going to select the c post uh, bottom on our list and here we are going to say list style none and that will remove the dot from the another list bullet style from the another list and uh, we are going to also select the list item so we'll say another list and inside the another list like the list item uh, copy and paste it for the anchor tag and that will select the anchor tag and copy this and paste it for the spawn element so we'll say select the spawn element and copy one more time and this time we will select the i tag and inside the i tag we have uh, the font awesome icon so let's uh, add a style here and uh, what we are going to do here we are going to make uh, this on our list uh, display flex and uh, this will be the flex container for the flex items so what we are going to do here we are going to make this li element our flex container we can do this by adding a flex property here and that will add a display flex property to this and that will be a flex container for now and uh, let's make our arrow list uh, also a flex container so we'll say display flex and uh, save the file and uh, we are going to copy this and paste it to the every ally so let's uh, refresh the page as you can see now the icon is side by side so what we are going to do here we are going to add some space and the better way to do this we have a property of uh, justify content which is space around what we are going to do here we will add a gc and uh, there is a property called justify content space around so let me see if i added this property our style CSS file or not inside here you can see we haven't added the property of just web content space around so add that property here and if you use this property it will give the space around these menus property is justify content and space around so that will be justify content space around so save the file and let's uh, refresh the page now as you can see it's given the space to this element now let's add a padding inside here in the c pause bottom here we are going to add a padding it is a padding of uh, 7 pixel top and bottom, 0 pixel left and right. And for the icon, we are going to say font uh, size 20 pixels. Save the file and let's refresh the page. So, what we have done here, we have given the font of some a 20 pixel font size and we also given the padding to the C pose bottom, which is this. So 
So what we are going to do here, we are going to add display flex property here instead of using a class of uh, display flex to each and every li element. So we will remove this from here, from here and from here as well. Save it because we have already selected the honor list here. So why not we use a display flex property here to make our li a flex container. So let's say display flex and then we are going to add a flex one and then we are going to say padding padding will be 8 pixel top and bottom 20 pixel left and right save it margin will be 4 pixel top and bottom 0 pixel left and right and uh, we are going to use a justify content property and we are going to say justify content center and align item also center we are going to add a border radius Border radius will be 4 pixels and uh, we are going to add a pointer so we will use a cursor property and that will add a pointer when we hover to this li element so let's add a pointer and this pointer value what it does it will add a pointer icon to our mouse so let's save the file and let's refresh the page as you can see when we hover to this ally you can see the cursor is changed to the pointer as you can see we have successfully given the design to our element so let's add a hover state so we'll say c pause bottom on our list ally whenever we hover to this element change the background to hash f2 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 save the file so let's refresh the page as you can see when we hover to this uh, ally it gave the background to this real ally element so that is the hover state for our menu and uh, let's add a color with this class which we have created for this icons as you can see here we have created a class of icon alvid also a class of uh, load image and also a class of smile so we will copy this and uh, inside the c post bottom ulli spawn i which we have selected for the icon here we are going to add our icon classes so save it and uh, we are going to say select this class and inside this class select the i tag and uh, we are going to change the color with this color which is hash f02849 for this l -vid. And that color will give our red color to this element here. So when we let's say save the file here and when we refresh the page, you can see it's given the red color to this menu. And now it's time to give this icon a color. So for here we are going to select the i tag and color will be this hash for double d f double seven and this will give the color which we require and for the last item we will add a color of hash f f d seven double zero and this will add a color of let's see yellow here and green here so that is absolutely fine right now we are going to add a border and for the border we are going to add a div before the c post bottom and after this c post top so let's open up the index.html file so if we see here before the c post bottom we are going to add a div here uh, we are going to say class c post border so we'll say c post border sorry border 
and that will be the border for our C post wrap. So that border which we have given here, we are going to add a div for that to make this border. So let's uh, give up CSS and let's select the C post border. We will say C post border and uh, so we will add border border bottom one pixel solid and the color will be hash d8 db df and let's save the file and let's refresh the page and now as you can see we have created the border we have also given the hover straight to this element a background color so as you can see we have created the create post wrap and that's it for now and see you in the next lecture